Welcome back to Roundtable, I'm Nemo, and Cartoon Network has been delivering at Comic-Con 2019. There was already an incredible Steven Universe panel, a great Rick and Morty panel, but the most new information actually came from their First Look 2019 panel. If you're not familiar with how Cartoon Network or a lot of networks do things at Comic-Con, essentially they give their biggest shows their own panels because they have a huge audience, and then they have a giant panel for all of their smaller shows so that everybody gets a spotlight. This year that panel was classified as the First Look of 2019 panel, and they delivered on giving us a first look of all of their shows. We got some new clips from old shows, we got new clips from new shows, we have premieres we've never seen before, so without further ado, let's just break down this panel and go through everything Cartoon Network revealed. The biggest thing was OKKO OK announcing its official Sonic crossover. We have a separate video on that though if you want to check that out. That was huge news and a lot of fans were very excited to see that, but like I said, all their shows got some love. We got a new Craig of the Creek clip. In it, Craig's friend from the city visits him and it looks like he's trying really hard to impress him by showing him everything that he has in the creek. Although because his friend's from the city, he has a hard time of getting into it. This looks like such a cute episode, and I'm excited to see the full thing. It just looks funny and wholesome. Up next, we have a new Meow Meow clip. Meow Meow is an incredible new series that Cartoon Network's been putting out recently. It has a lot of anime vibes to it, so if you like that, then you should definitely check out the show if you haven't seen it already. But it follows the adventures of this adventurous cat and his two partners, which consists of a polar bear, cyborg, and an adorable bat. How could you not like this? In the clip, he discusses the origin of his mighty weapon, a sword, although it turns out to just be a last minute gift from his dad because he wasn't as important as his siblings. It's just a funny clip and it really sets the tone of the show and gets me excited for more episodes. Up next we have what is my personal favorite clip, New Summer Camp Island. Now Summer Camp Island is a show I was super excited for but I haven't been keeping up with enough. I really love the show's aesthetic and I love its creator's work so it's no surprise that this clip is amazing. They appear to be in some sort of mole city in the courtroom. I'm not sure why they're in the courtroom or what they're being charged for. There's some really funny jokes about how their laws make no sense and overall it's just a funny great clip. One thing that I took away from this that I didn't even realize before is how good the writing on Summer Camp Island is. It's kind of hard to describe, but just like the verbiage they use and how they talk, it's like really unique and I really like it. So yeah, definitely check out Summer Camp Island if you haven't already. Up next, we have Victor and Valentino. Now this show I was super hyped for. Some people have compared it to Gravity Falls, although it feels like its own unique show if I'm being honest. Yes, it deals with the paranormal, but everything else is different enough to make it stand up as its own. It's definitely the creepiest clip Cartoon Network's put out so far. In it, they run through this old abandoned house and there's all of these creepy dolls controlled by rats before they narrowly escape. I love the adventurous elements of this show and I think that a lot of cartoons are missing that these days. Comedy and action go hand in hand and I love that there's like exciting tension in this clip. That's where I think Victor and Valentino is unique and that's why I'm super excited to see more of this show. Up next is an Apple and Onion clip. Now Apple and Onion actually got renewed which I was not expecting. Not that the show was bad but it seemed like it was going to be like this limited release thing and it turns out it's getting more episodes. This clip is extremely Apple and Onion. There's not really much going on here. They sing a song about meeting up with their friends as they meet up with their friends and they notice one of their friends is gone which I'm guessing is like the conflict of the episode. That's really all the clip is. Like I said it's very Apple and Onion. Apple and Onion has a very weird and unique style that I really dig. I love the musical elements of it and although Apple and Onion can kind of be a little fanboy and chum chum sometimes, you grow to love them and I'm glad this show's getting more love in general and I'm glad this show's getting more episodes. Well those were all of the clips from pre-existing Cartoon Network shows but because of San Diego Comic Con they had to go out big and they delivered premiering two brand new Cartoon Network shows. The first one is one we've known about for a while, Tig and Seek. If you haven't seen the pilot, it's on YouTube and it's pretty good. It's about like this lost and found company. Basically the misadventures of this goofy kid and his really smart adventure cat. This clip really shows off their dynamic well as they are speeding through the city on a bike, trying to get somewhere that they're running late to. They face all sorts of problems with the road and with traffic, but Gui Seek always thinks on his feet and finds a way to get through it. I love the art style of this show and I feel like it's that sort of chowderish Cartoon Network vibe that we were missing for a while. It just looks funny and it's a good time. I'm excited for this cartoon. Plus, I love these two characters and their dynamics, so I'll definitely be checking this out when it fully premieres. And last of all, we have what I think is like Clarence's spiritual successor, The Fungies, which is the weirdest thing I've seen Cartoon Network put out in a very long time. The show follows a bunch of mushroom kids going to school, I suppose, and I guess their childhood. Again, that's why I feel like it's very Clarence. It just follows like this group of innocent kids, except this time they're not kids. They're, they're weird mushrooms who can take off their limbs. In this clip, one of the characters brings a turtle to class and they all debate over what he brought. Even though it is a turtle, they all think it's a rock or other objects. Until it turns out the turtle was just shy and eventually comes out of his shell when he thinks no one's around. I know I keep using this word a lot, but this show is super wholesome and it just looks like a simple fun show. I doubt there's going to be any overarching stories here. I'm just glad Cartoon Network has such a wide variety with its new lineup of shows and I think it's one of the best eras of the network ever and it's good to see that they're still adding cartoons to the roster. They're still trying to come up with new ideas and just be innovative with the stories that they're telling. 
telling, there's something here for everybody, and this panel really showed that off. But as always, I want to know what you guys think. Are you excited for any of these shows? Are you not? Let us know in those comments down below, or tweet to us at Roundtable Vids, or me at Stretcher Nemo. If you want to consider helping out the Roundtable, you can become a member of the channel or support us on Patreon and get exclusive access to scripts and avatars. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to do a like, share it, and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content, guys. I'm Nemo. This is a cartoon news video, and I will see you next time. Peace.